Hey again, one of the services that we did design the service for log register that allow us to register a new user in the database. So if you remember, this service was for register. If I just open it for you, just to make you remember what we did before, that was the service. So this is was the service. The service, the URL for it was this one. So if I just copy it and go to the here, paste it. It take number of parameters. First, email of the person, name of the person, email, password, and picture path. Now we have the path. The name and email of this information, we could enter them from the uh, screen, from the UI, like the, the register page that we have it. He could, he could add this information here. The path, I have it. Now, just I want to move this data to the server. So to move this data to the server, I need to call HTTP. If you remember, we did already this part for calling HTTP. If you, in the, on our Carlton project, the Sunset application was doing that. So instead of rewrite the code, what I will do, I just go to the Sunset app. So where is the get Sunset time? This one in the apps, SRC, main, Java, main activity, and there is not too much work. We did this two factions. So this one was for another class doing synchronous task to send this information. So, oops, so just again. So this is a synchronous task, copy, and paste it here in my code. So I call HTTP. This my code was for call HTTP. Let me just go overview to the code. We did a synchronous task. This asynchronous task uh, could have pre-execute. I don't have to do anything. Have on background. I want just to get whatever the URL that user sent it to me. So in this case, we will send URL. So if you see, if I just go to the code bag, you will see how they send the URL and the how they call it. So let me see. Let me do same thing in the register. So if I go back here in the register part, the part last part when I have the URL here, downloadable URL, I have number of parameters. We said in that web service that we designed it, we will have number of parameters. So let me just copy it and replace it with this path. Wow, too much, too much to do. So this should be, our path should be this path. Okay, we need to do some simple changes. First of all, the server, like an Android emulator, cannot access to the local host, even if it's on local host. The local host and Android have to define in this IP, the IP address, which it should be 10.0.2.2. This will represent local host. Why? Because emulator will be a virtual machine that running on my my device. So my device is local host. I cannot use the word local host. So I have to use this IP address to represent the local host. So let me see. The name, first person name, I have the name already, which is should be in the, where is the register page? Why, why, why I cannot see it? So this is the register. The name should be here in this one. Enter the name. Should be first one, should be ET, ET text, this one should be an ET name. So I say, okay, this one should be represent the name. So instead of this, I will, I will do, I could do this. Or I could do the way for the Kotlin part. I could do so this one dot text, hopefully. Yes, I'm getting the, it is the name of the person dot text. Email, same thing. And instead of this dummy email, I will, oh, I will add real email so I could get the real email from what from et email dot text and what about the password the password I could get it in the same way so same this way it's the et password dot text 
hopefully I did not did a mistake hopefully I did not import library from other file I'm using only my libraries make sure from the top yes I'm just using only register so yes this is all what, what I will have to say send to the server I'd send whatever the name enter it whatever the email enter it whatever the password and the picture path picture path should be this path for the picture so yes take it and instead this one do plus that path and bam you should be set so all this information should be sent to the background service background server should get it doing http connection to that url set timeout getting the input as a secure uh, json and wait for some time t pass i will get that json as an object um bam i have to do something with that object so i would remove these parts because i'm no longer need this so i just have first define json object and say hey if the json object you know what the output should be if i just insert anyone any new person you know that like if i just say first name email is like for example this email the apps apps i think i have simple change this one need to be not file see he give you if he success he give you a message user is added if he else he, he, he will not tell you this so i say hey if the result if the json dot guest string for this name because this is the message oh cool oh cool user is added that's mean yes user is added so if, which other the message should be if the message will call this one because i'm looking for this key the key is coming as a json so if the key equal to this user is added, that means I the user is added. Else, that means user is not added. So I could do a message in this case. I say, hey, to us. Dot make text. I will say application contents. Then I say send show this message, whatever this message should be. Then I say to us. dot long and show i will do same thing for else i know you say hey why this one why else just show me the message and boom you done okay show you but just the message whatever the message is coming on here i have to do something to do something something close for close if he success i just show the message and close the activity for the register i have to do finish for the register is that right because i'm no longer needed if not, I will not finish it. I will ask him to, to enter again the information. So this all the information I think, I believe that I need it. So yes, so it's so I'm done, hopefully. If I just run it and make sure everything is done for the register part. And you understand now, yeah, oh, here I have something missing. So I'm put stream. And this one, buffer reader. okay this one buffer reader yes now now they have to be resolved it should be i should be able to do the login now again so i'm making sure everything is fine then rerun it pop this buffer reader make sure auto complete enter so you import the needed library then we could rerun it again and see the result now yes now i just fix that part on it and see here we go after a while i see this page okay let me enter the information jenna al rubai email jenna ahmed at yahoo.com password one two three four five let jenna select some image click here whatever select this image for jenna and click upload it will take some time and he will not show me any message until he go back he just do the process and came back to me which is no one like to do the work in this way all people want to see the data like want to see some loading then how this process is done so i don't want to just wait for some time and see the result maybe see here just he was able to upload the image but he didn't give me any information what he did next like is he is he complete upload the image what's what's going on so i know the problem here so if you just see 
this is for a synchronous task you just call the synchronous task you send the url he have to process that data and he give us the data as the output and here we have to process it so here as i told you i don't have any approve that about what is going on uh, if he success if he not uh, why i didn't see that message so basically debug it and add this line here for debugging and just run the process again if you want to make sure the user is added it's really easy just to go to the mysql slash user root slash p and uh, one two three four five i say use it with then i say show tables uh, so i say select star from login make sure if jenna is added we he wa we was able to add jenna so now the debug is the best way for us to follow this so in the debug i just click login i say jenna ahmed email like gg gg at so dot com password whatever image select click hit and wait until he uploads then he will reach this line if he reach this line that mean progress updated because that mean we reach this line if not we have to have we have to do another debug to make sure where is the error exactly happen because until now do background is it doesn't sound we Re, he is the sound you was able to see the data if you just see this one remove it to make sure everything is fine yeah there's nothing sound for me he just was able to reach that line because i don't see anything like that so if i just click here make sure if everything's fine so hit it again and see if he was able to go to background or not so yes he reached this line now he just go directly to the end so why because this one the path doesn't sound as a path as i see here the path see he have this column before it which is good for us to detect that error and the debug so the idea of make me just show you all these details so you understand how to find the error how to debug you see here in the url we did just we just mistake by adding these two lines so now if we just run it hopefully he will not give you this error and he will be able to pass that data without any problem okay so and i'm good now so if i just go to the register i say jenna ahmed say jenna ahmed at yahoo.com and whatever password and uh, select image hopefully now i'll be able to select image and hopefully this time i'll be able to upload it so hit hopefully now he will be able to do all the process without any problem so yes wait for some time see if he was able bomb yes user is added to make sure user is added in sql just here select star from login yes we did it so here he had jenna he had his email his password and this is the image path for the jenna he added completely to make sure he just added yeah just see the image for jenna just copy that see this is was this was the the involved http url we'll fix this one in seconds okay i know this why this problem has happened this problem happened because the name uh, i may add space between it so this one the name the name may have space so the best way is just say define her name here i say hey i have name variable name it name and this name it come from url url encoder dot encode in this way then i just whatever data that i want to encode then i say utf slash eight so the name may have space like hussein ahmed whatever the name make sure this one to be converted to two sitting so to avoid any error and also make sure everything here is used is to sitting like email to sitting and the password 
Tools filter in Toastpod doesn't have a space, email doesn't have password a space. Download URL, I need to encode it. So I say, okay, download URL, it's coming from encode the download URL. So just coming, just take it, move it here, encode it and send it back, just processing it. So now in this case, I'm sure 100%, I just get saved from that process. So now the download URL, I should be add same URL here and I will not have any problem because I'm encoding the name and the URL. So now if I just run it, hopefully there is no more errors. Here we go. I see this. Logan. I say Leia Ahmed. If in the space have to work. Leia at yahoo.com. Make sure there is no space here. There is no space because the password cannot have space. This is how it's working. And this one how to do it just select it and hopefully now when i click register you will able to pass all this information after i did encode for this data here we go he just added and yes that's what we did